Hi everybody, I'm Lonnie with Everything Nature and today Cora and I are going to take a walk through our neighborhood and see if we can find any cool interesting animals. We've seen things like kites, squirrels, rabbits, and things like that before. So let's just go explore a little bit and see if we can find anything interesting. Besides dogs, right Cora? <laughs> We have a pretty nice little neighborhood here. We've seen cool things around here. Almost every time we go for a walk, we'll see something interesting. You hear some cicadas pretty good up there. And it's kind of getting toward the end of cicada season. They're definitely not as loud as they were a few weeks ago. Because cicadas only live a few weeks after... Uh, after they mature into adults. So they don't have very long to find a mate before they uh, naturally expire. Here's a monarch butterfly. The, uh, the flowers it's, it's drinking from right now are, uh, they're called climbing milkweeds or milkweed vines. They're, they're native species here, but they're they're pretty annoying if you're trying to have other flowers in your garden because they are very, uh, very prolific, I guess you could say. Oh, look, two monarchs. I don't know if you can see them. Can't really see too well there. There's a flicker right here. It's a type of woodpecker. Here's one of our resident Mississippi kites flying around. Probably hunting for cicadas and other yummy bugs. Cicadas are definitely one of their favorites. Look how pretty they are when they fly. So before we finish up for the evening, we're going to sit out here and watch our hummingbird feeders for some hummingbirds and see if any come. They've been pretty active today, so I'm hoping that we'll get to see some. Here's a hummingbird. The hummingbirds are attracted to red colors, and that's why you always see hummingbird feeders colored red like this. Now the thing is, a lot of people will sell hummingbird nectar that's red dyed and that's actually not good for the hummingbirds. All the chemicals and things and red dye really are just extra stuff they don't need. So it's really a good idea just to make your own hummingbird sugar water by mixing a quarter cup of sugar with one cup of water. So much easier to make and way better for the hummingbirds. Well I hope you all enjoyed exploring our neighborhood with us. We did get to see a few cool animals so remember even if you live in town or even in a city, that doesn't mean nature isn't all around you. So go out there, take a closer look at everything, pay attention when you're walking around, and maybe you'll see something really interesting that you hadn't noticed before. I hope you had a great time, and we'll see you next time on Everything Nature. Say bye-bye, Cora. Bye-bye. If you love learning about cool nature things, you should like this video. You can subscribe to us on YouTube and you can even check us out on Facebook. Thank you very much.